Thank you to Chairperson, Chairperson Lynch Prada for the privilege of being able to provide testimony in support of Senate Bill 2134. My name is Michael Stevens. I'm a native of Cranston and um, <clears throat> I'm native of Cranston and a medical student at Brown University. As a medical student, I can testify to the importance of housing for my patients' overall health and well-being. I'm currently a member of a medical student organization called the Rhode Island Medical Navigator Partnership. Our organization partners med medical students with local people experiencing homelessness and housing instability. <clears throat> the number one goal for the people we work with is stable housing. Our participants often tell us that without a stable source of housing, they find it difficult to take care of their physical and mental well-being. They have trouble making doctor's appointments, getting lab work done, and storing their medications. Some of our participants have been fortunate to obtain SSI disability income. They eagerly enter the renter's market, excited to finally have a stable means to afford housing. However, landlords are able to discriminate based on source of income. And sadly, many of our participants and others around the state have been shut out of housing. Imagine a person who has just earned SSI income for severe anxiety or depression. Is this condition likely to improve if they face uh, discrimination and are forced back into homelessness? As we hear every day from our participants, homelessness can be a traumatizing experience and a huge detriment to someone's health. Uh, we heard earlier from South Coast Fair Housing about the research they've done. I also wanted to emphasize that uh, prospective tenants who rely on child support, alimony, social security, and veterans benefits are similarly vulnerable. They risk losing out by virtue of their source of income rather than dollar value. If we do not have our aims on guaranteeing real access to housing, these people cannot begin to address their other health problems. I've done, the, I've done research to understand the reasons why we don't already have this legislation in place to prevent housing discrimination by income. Legislators and landlords may fear that, vouchers, that voucher holders are not good tenants and may damage their unit or not pay rent reliably. They may also be concerned that accepting vouchers would preclude them from performing background screening. However, landlords can still screen potential tenants based on uh, criminal record and credit history, and voucher holders have strong incentives built into their programs to be good tenants. Many have waited years to receive rental assistance, which only reaches one in four eligible families. Uh, they know that they could lose their subsidy if they damage their unit, do not pay rent on time, or are evicted for a similar reason. Therefore, it is of utmost importance that we as a community prevent systemic housing discrimination. I urge the Senate Judiciary Committee to support Bill 2134 to stop discrimination by source of income in, our, in Rhode Island. Thank you, and I welcome any of your questions.